Hello and welcome to my channel. Well, today I'm going to show you guys some of the craziest stuff that, that you, you can ever think of what people do. Have you ever considered undercoating your vehicle with grease? Well, check this out. This guy, whoever this is, decided to undercoat their truck with grease. I'm going to show you some of the pictures. It doesn't look too bad, right, on the picture. So let's see what it says here. So it's a 94 Ram 2500 diesel, 131 miles, original miles. Well, at least that's what, the, that's what it says, but who knows. <coughs> Body is very clean and solid. Hmm. Clean and solid for a rust belt area. Uh, it's hard for me to believe. And if you read further down, you'll, you'll agree with me. Uh, overall, solid truck. Overall, it's a solid truck. Well, train shift into gears. Engine has no blow-by. Runs excellent. Okay. No runs and drives, but transmission lights are leaking badly. Leaking badly. Interesting. So, how it runs and drives? Fine. If it, I'll tow it to save, it to be safe. Or stop and add fluid every so often, depending on how far you drive it. So, it drives fine, but you have to just stop and keep adding the fluid. So, you know what I mean. He's already... He's already telling the partial truth. He's not telling this. Starter is weak. Cranked very slowly. So it has a problem with the starter. But what I want to point out. Frame was coated with a thick coat of grease by previous owner. Grease? I bet that's expensive to coat. Why would you coat with a grease when there's a cheaper, better product out there? Hmm. Interesting. It appears sold and it appears. He's not saying it is, it appears sold underneath other atypical surface rust. Front frame section where the steering box bolt to the frame appears to have been reinforced in the past, but difficult to tell. Huh. So, then he says how much the truck is worth, and uh, what's he's asking for it. Let me show you the picture. So, this is what the picture will tell us. It doesn't look too bad, it looks like probably... Maybe it has been repainted before. Now look at the bracket. Bracket on a seat. It looks corroded. If the bracket inside is corroded, think about it, what it looks like underneath. There is a better view. Yeah. Something inside, doesn't, it's not even exposed to the weather elements. And it's corroded. Crazy. Same thing to ask yourself. Now look at all of this grease. I wonder how many gallons or maybe barrels of grease he had to go through just to hide all the rust. And you can tell here it's, you know, some of this either washed off or something. or It's not very clear what that is. But that's a lot of grease. That's a lot of hiding. He's definitely hiding, you know. You don't just undercoat a 94 truck like that. And it all looks fresh too. So it's... So someone bought it to realize it's a piece of junk with a lot of rust and trying to get rid of it himself. Yeah. It's a lot of grease. Yeah, look at how fresh this grease is. Look at this mess. This is just something, you know, you gotta be thinking outside of box, trying to hide all the rust, all the cracks, all the holes. <laughs> someone definitely got their money worth. And first thing, when I buy vehicles, and this is a tip that I will give you guys. You open the hood, or you ask for the pictures. If you see the rust underneath the hood, look at the lines, injection lines. They're, they're so bad. This is, this is really bad. You walk away. Because underneath the truck, there will be a lot worse. These parts are not exposed to salt. It's always pretty much dry, you know, except when you might have some condensation or so if it's raining. But otherwise... It's always dry, and if it's already this bad, underneath is even worse. Yeah, there is no doubt this truck was well repainted one time, because for 94, to look this good, have you done it something like this, or seen this place like this before, under corner with grace? Drop me a comment. I would love to hear from you guys. Hear from you guys, see what you guys think about it. So, thank you, and don't forget to share this video with others. 